a lot. I rode a lot when I was younger, and then uh, I didn't have a bike for a long time. I just picked this up a couple weeks ago, and I've already beaten the shit out of it. It's a 250, a WR250R. Uh-oh. I hope that's water. Something wrong? I got some like shitty tools if you need them. Yeah. Probably. Sucker. Yeah. Let's see what they give you. That looks like maybe a 12 and a 14. Yep, that's a 10. That'll work. Wanna hold that up? bolts are all just too long. Yeah, so we had it, cause this thing didn't have a skid plate originally, so I got one from my buddy, cause this was with my buddy's plug. Then, we ended up getting bolts too long yesterday, so we just threw washers on, or uh, bolts on it. like the shittiest tools ever made but they sure are nice when you're like out on the trail and you're like at least I got something yeah. I just wish they left room for the uh, like registration and insurance papers and stuff just zero That's room for anything legal. what's that That's legal, right? yeah yeah I wrote it here from Clinton Registered for uh, trail use though. Road? You can get a two stroke on the road? Yep. Oh, because the KTM. They don't have that no no highway uh, thing on the title like every other bike does. I was thinking about. some people that have dual sports and just figure out where all the trails are and stuff now. So I've kind of been out of it for a long time. 
2016. I just bought it like a couple weeks ago. I was up there uh, for a drift event at the track. DRZ 400 and the other one's an old KLR 250. I was trying to scope this area out to see if it was worth them coming down because they live up like further north of the state. So I didn't want to make them drive down here if it wasn't cruise around. There was an awesome spot in like the Westbrook Essex uh, town line. Like it was a couple of good miles. 